I have a kindergartner um, who is very sad about this extreme change in her life and who understands enough to know sort of what's going on and who also just has the emotional resources of a nearly six-year-old. Um, she uh, misses her friends, uh, like I miss my friends, and she misses her teachers, like I miss my colleagues, and um, she misses doing the things outside that she loves, um, especially monkey bars, and um, I do fear monkey bars, and she does. <laughs> uh, we've tried to FaceTime people um, from nearby to far away and we've done online classes and yoga and watched videos that people have found comforting and fun. Um, we've done a lot of crafts and baking and Lego kits and a lot of American Girl doll playing, um, which um, has, has been really fun for me as a parent to spend a lot of time with my child um, and get to just sort of play with her and since it's kindergarten we haven't been too concerned about anything academic um, at all. So we read and um, essentially travel through our interests um, throughout the day and I try to make it something that she'll look back on and I'm sure think was really hard and sad, but also um, included some beautiful memories um, and special memories. Um, we made donuts for the first time. It turns out donuts are amazing if you make them at home. Um, and uh, so we've done that. We've also played games through FaceTime with people. We play this game Mastermind, which is super fun and actually works really great with FaceTime if you set it up right and you can sort of see what you're supposed to see and hide what you're supposed to hide. Um, and, um, and we, you know, spend some time crying about the things we miss and take walks outside and leave chalk art for friends and it makes us happy to leave the chalk art and then we're really moved when people have left chalk art for us or other crafts um and so we um we're doing just fine and we also are sad 